What's it like working with Sylvester Stallone? I mean, I know you, you can't be like, you it's know. It's great. Yeah. I really like it. Yeah. he's. I, I enjoy the collaborative experience with him. I think he, I was surprised at how open and, and present he was. I don't know what I expected. Yeah. But I guess my expect in general, I keep my expectations low and my hopes high. And um, he lived up to hopes. And oh, that's great. Left expectations behind. He's great. I, you know, he's he just turned 76. Wow. And he still shows up to work every day. And he's like trying to make everything as good as he can. Yeah. He's present and he's and he's doing his best work and it's cool to watch him do that thing where he just like turns it on. Yeah. And you're like that's why you're a fucking movie star. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that is I'm I like I'm in it. Yeah. You put you make it easy to like to work with you. Yeah. Um yeah, he's been really fun. Yeah. The little bit I've gotten to do with, you know, like work on a show with big big stars like you know, like for instance like for me, James Kahn, working with James oh, Kahn yeah. on Elf, and he just passed away. Yeah, and Rest it was that was, you know, there's I've met lots and lots of people that I really admire, and it's been a bit of a letdown. I mean, it's never like it's never been absolutely horrible, you know, but it's but there have been people who are like, oh, that's too bad. That guy's kind of a dick or whatever. Um, whereas James Kahn was just like everything you'd want a James Kahn to be. Just like Did and he it slap was, your ass? Huh? Did no. He, he didn't slap you he on the He did ass. not slap my ass. That's like, not the, what I want out of a James Kahn. Jo- that that's not me. what you want? That's wanted? your James Kahn. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Is we that all mine? Have our diff- well, we all have I our versions. I thought that was all of ours. No, I thought no, no, we no. all just wanted no. like a good, uh, hey, that's, good job out there. And then, a, you know, just a like, pat on the... Like a little too hard? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. A, ow, that hurt a little bit. Yeah. But I deserved it. Right, right. But then it lingers, and you're kind of like, ah, that's. Did you know, I deserve it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The guy from Rollerball, I can still <laughs> feel it. Um, He's got that Rollerball power. No, he just was really. And it was funny because. Like he, you know, he wanted. You know, he's a big movie star, and he's doing this, you know, silly Christmas movie. But all the scenes were like me, Will Ferrell, Amy Sedaris, and Kyle Gass. And there was a point where he was, where he literally said, "Like, you know, I'm trying to be serious, and I'm trying to, like, you know, do, you know, do the do the work like I'm supposed to. But uh, I mean, if you all want to just fuck around and have fun, I'm up for that too, you know." And then he started. He was calling us the fun bunch, and he even in the movie he he calls he uses that. He says, "My fun bunch," um, and, and and then you know we all. Like for the week that I was there, he would be in. The, you know, we'd all be in the hotel bar together. And one time we were we were sitting around. Uh, it's very tight, little tiny hotel bar, and he comes up with this attractive woman, you know, middle aged woman. And he says, "Hey, everybody, this is and I don't remember, you know, this is Linda. Apparently, in the eighties, we fucked." <laughs> <laughs> and she was like all giggly and embarrassed, you know. And he's like, "I don't remember, but she says we did." <laughs> Can you imagine having that many conquests? That oh. You're like, I don't remember. Uh, no, I have too much detail in my brain about it. 